Welcome to the Practical Ascension Podcast. I'm your host and soul alchemist, Tracy Goody. Stay with me for practical guidance and flow for your modern life through this time of ascension. Akashic Energy Navigation for July 2019. So the energy in July, (laughs) the biggest visual that I had come through for the energy in July is around floating or sinking, but don't fight. So what I got visually is that a lot of us are moving through almost like this jelly-like substance, and there is a lot of discernment needed in order for us to move through it optimally. So we have the option to rise above, or we can go down into the shadows. Either one of them is going to work for us. Just don't struggle in the place you're in. You're going to be invited into the depths this month. There's going to be a lot of opportunity uh, for uncovering things and for doing some deep healing. July carries with it a lot of water energy, and this can be really beneficial for some, but for others, and again, just pay attention to what resonates for you with this reading. This can really be beneficial for some, but for others, it will somewhat extinguish or diminish your flame. Now, for some of us, that flame burning really brightly is a priority right now. And for others, moving just with the water is a priority. So kind of just take a moment and tune in as I'm going through this reading. And do you see yourself more so floating on the top of the water, working with this flame or sinking down to the depths to work in the shadows? Or is it a bit of a combination of both? Now, paying attention to any areas where you're feeling like your creativity, your confidence, or your forward movement is getting put out, it's a good indication that you do want to be kind of spending your time rising above first. Now, you might be watering it down with the fears and doubts that you have within yourself or listening to the advice of others above yourself. As with all of 2019, we're asked to dig deep, uncover our truth, and express it. In July, this theme is really highlighted with a balance of going within to heal and see the truth and then taking um, this adventure and taking action to make it happen. So there is a bit of a balance for most of us between going down into the depths and then coming up to where um, the flame is above to take action. I hope that visual's starting to connect to a few of you. There's a lot of ups and downs in July, so paying attention to your unique needs and what your soul calls for on a daily basis really is key here. So that's why I said that discernment is a big theme um, for all of 2019, but for July specifically, because there's times when you're going to be most beneficial to be rising up and taking action and times where it's most beneficial to look within. And just tuning into yourself, you're going to notice your body's natural rhythm telling you what point you're at. And I cannot stress this enough for July. You are the creator of your reality. Growing pains are going to occur. It's it's inevitable when you're on this spiritual path, whenever you do want to reach deeper into why you're here, um, fulfillment, success, growing pains are a natural thing. So I do see those occurring in July and they're inviting you into a deeper level of who you are and why you're here. And like I said, growing pains, they're really going to be present for most of us in July, but we can make the most of it by not getting caught up in thinking we are a victim of circumstance and retreating. Instead, ask for help. Remember, we are stronger together. Both humans and divine teamwork is called for to move you optimally through this month of transformation. Do not feel like you have to do it all on your own. And I'm also getting kind of like this jelly vibe in July that this, it's like this time of transformation. So when a caterpillar is moving into a butterfly, they go through this uh, period of time in the chrysalis where they're kind of like this jelly-like substance. So there's, they're not really in a form yet. Um, And whenever you're going through this process of transformation and you feel like you're in this jelly-like vibe, this jelly-like substance, you can really get into this pattern of questioning if everything is actually working out in your favor um, because it, it can feel quite sticky and quite thick. So just be aware of that. That's part of the transformation, and that's okay. Um, with all these energies in July, you can see why your own discernment as to where you are at in the process really is key here. So while trusting yourself is a key for moving through it, July, if you are practicing that and you are trusting yourself, you are following your flow, when you come out of the end of July, your internal trust is going to be turned up so much higher than when you first went into it. 
So first there's self-belief. So the energy of the flame. So let's look at that. Notice and accept this invitation to greatness. This is what that flame energy is all about. So I'm bouncing around a lot, but that's because July carries with it kind of a lot of up and down energy. Um, so this flame energy that's kind of like at the top of the water, if you're visualing that, you might be taking some action first. That might be how July comes on. Or again, you might be on a little bit of a different cycle. So the action might be coming maybe the second week of July or so on. And then things can start to feel sticky because you're going down into that water, into that jelly substance. And it's like you're moving into this jello during the transformation. So sometimes there's like this action that brings on some clarity, that brings on this is my step, and then you're going into this jello um, because then the transformation is beginning. By taking that action, by by taking what you felt was the right step for you, or even sometimes just expressing it, writing on paper, asking for help. By doing that, you're beginning and you are like you're creating um, a catalyst for this transformation. But that can then move you into the jello-like substance, which is part of the transformation. And fighting it, so you're on this action phase. And again, this is an example for those of you that resonate with it. You're on this action phase. You're excited to get going. You're excited to create everything and do all these things. And then you go into this jello like period and sometimes we can get frustrated and we fight it. We say, no, no, I'm, I'm in an action phase right now. I want to be taking action. Um, or if, if you're gone in the other direction, you could then just feel like, well, it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in this victim energy and I can't move forward because this is happening in my life and this and this and this. No, that's an invitation to slow it down because you're in this jello period. <laughs> the, the jello analogy that I know is getting a little bit weird, but if you're feeling like that, remember the, there's that, that energy in July where asking for help, asking for help from your divine team and your human support is really, really beneficial. So if you're feeling in this kind of stuck place, then ask for support. That's going to help you to either float up or dive deeply in to heal. And just as you're starting to move forward and get clarity in July then it, it, it does um, appear energetically that it's calling for you to pause after that, to hit pause, to look within. Again, it's that same energy of not yet pushing forward, but replenishing yourself fully. So it is this really beautiful cycle of balance that's happening in July. It's only when we fight against it that it's going to feel tricky. Whenever we do allow ourselves to go through it, we can move through it a lot easier. If you take this um, reflection, this meditation, these rest breaks, as you feel called, you're going to be setting yourself up for a grounded and amazing month. It's through this inner worth work, this working cooperatively um, with your own flow, that you really reach the wisdom and the golden core of July, because there is a lot of wisdom and a lot of beautiful energy um, in July. I know I'm kind of talking about a lot of growing pains and things like that, but the beautiful wisdom as you're moving through July can really move you forward on your entire path and purpose. Now, whenever you allow a deeper connection to your own wisdom, your direction, um, your discernment, all of those things are going to point you the exact path uh, to deeper soul fulfillment success. You're going to know all the right steps. You're going to know the right people to connect to. Um, you're going to have the self-belief behind you to make it happen. So those are kind of like the keys that we want to get to, to July and that are available for us in July. Being clear, knowing the right steps, knowing the people to connect to because there's a lot of collaboration energy coming in here, and then having the self-belief to actually make it happen. All of those things are coming together in July. So overall, July invites you deeper into your power through self-healing and clarity. And having a large supply of self-compassion and courage right there and ready for you to dissolve any overwhelm that comes up into understanding and balance is going to be very beneficial. If you notice you're on the opposing end of self-compassion, you're in self-blame and guilt and shame, move over to self-compassion as quickly as possible and dissolve those other doubts and fears um, because, again, that's how you're going to make the most of July. So you have the power to do this. This water energy in July brings emotions up to the surface, so stay grounded and don't get thrown around too much by them. They're coming up just to be released and healed. We're also in a Mercury retrograde too, so, I mean, these things do happen um, for our own growth and benefit. If you can manage to go with this flow in July, you're going to see a big increase in how much you enjoy your life, how much you trust yourself, and you're going to feel so much more clarity and joy for the path ahead. So July really is a, a beautiful golden month with all types of wisdom wrapped up in it. 
but don't get too caught up in the emotion of it all and go with the flow as much as possible in terms of listening to yourself and asking yourself what you need to feel fully supported because you have all the answers within right now. All right, so I hope that resonated, and if it did, I would love for you to share this and comment in the Facebook group, and the link for that is going to be in the show notes below. Thank you so much, and have an amazing July. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to check out practicalascension.com for your free membership, access to guided journeys, energy healings, activations, and more to deepen your practical ascension experience. And grab that all in the show notes below. Have an amazing day.